Assalamualaikum. It's Tricky Thursday, and our topic for this week is sending our children back to school. So for the first trick or tips, what we can do as parents is put them to sleep early the night before. Make sure you give them enough sleep for their school day the next day. Check out this chart. You can see how many hours does your child need to sleep according to their age. Step 2. Tell them the truth. I know that some parents, they, they want to make it easy to send the children to school, so they will say something like this. I'll wait for you in the car. I'll go to the toilet. I'll be downstairs. By telling these lies, we only left the children hanging or with false hope that mommy or daddy will come back to them within 5 minutes or 10 minutes. So they'll be, they'll be, they will feel so insecure and they know that they are not supposed to be at that school for that long because mommy is just going to the toilet to take a look. The best way we can tell them is tell them the truth. I need to go to work and you need to go to school. I need to earn money to buy food, to buy your clothes, to buy your books, to pay for our house, to pay for our cars. Tell them all of our responsibilities. Indirectly, we are teaching them to be responsible with their own daily routine. Mommy, daddy goes to work and you go to your school or your kindy. And if you have a mate at home, educate them that your mate or whoever they call um, must stay at home to clean up the house, to do the house chores, and you need to learn at school. You will learn ABC or numbers or hijaya. Have fun with friends. You can learn how to mix around with friends. Tips number three, avoid gadget. No gadget at least 12 hours before they go to school. Gadget indirectly will affect their psychologically, their emotion. Emotionally, they will feel unstable because overuse of screening time will definitely give our children tantrum. Do you agree with me? This is what I noticed on my own son and all of my other students here at Kidana. Almost hundred of them. Some of them will come here, um, will come here to our door, still holding their phone or still have a gadget in their hand, and I can see the difference when the day that they have when the day that they hold the gadget and the day that they don't it's a tremendous difference in their emotion so trust me no gadget within 12 hours tips number four give them a big hug and a kiss this one will make your children feel loved and they know that mommy daddy still love them even though they have to leave the they, they, they are being left at school to learn and this love will help them to enjoy throughout the day inshallah tips number five feel confident towards our children and the center that we are going to send to if we feel worried the aura we will pass it to our child and our child will be worried throughout the day at the school I'm sure none of us want this to happen, right? Number six. Number six, allow them to be brave and independent. Okay, avoid avoid sending your child straight to the room. Go to the table and chair. Just send them off in front of the uh, school door and tell them that they are brave, they are good boy or good girl that you are very confident in your child 
this is going to make them feel good and make them feel mature that they can do this on their own <laughs> tips number seven sugar free breakfast sugar free breakfast such as honey or fruits or milk is okay please please avoid sugar such as Nutella or sugary cereal or sugary drinks like Milo or any other sweets drinks because sugar can induce tantrum in children last point give motivation not promises motivation as in you are going to have fun today you are doing great i am so proud of you you are such a brave good girl or boy not promises such as i'll take you to the shopping mall after this or we'll go to the playground or i give you a toy or i give you a chocolate after you come back from school so don't cry Promises is not good because we are just training them to to have rewards in everything they do. It's okay to make promise um, as long as after you reach, um, after you have pick up your child from school, and you know that you can give that promise hundred percent sure. Okay, let's go back and uh, and we go buy an ice cream today but not every day maybe once a week is okay why it is not good for us to promise early in the morning because why we are we don't know what's going to happen ahead of the day we may not be able to give them those promises so we don't want to ruin that that trust between our children and us if you like this video click the like button share share it with everyone don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and follow our Instagram, Facebook and blog. Bye-bye. Assalamualaikum.